Hello friends, Heidi the Creator here, creating something new to share with you. Today I have with me the perfect stick. It's just a stick. It's my perfect stick. This is the perfect stick right here. I found this stick while I was out hiking one day on the trail. I picked it up because it had a lot of character. There's a lot of little bumps and crevices and details and all sorts of stuff on this stick. I never intended to do what I'm doing with it today, drawing faces out of the different detail knots and crevices, but I thought it was an interesting looking stick and I kept it because why not? He was calling to me. He's my friend. You are so beautiful to me. So a few weeks back I did a video where I drew faces out of pictures that were ordinary things like a sink and a tile and I pulled faces out of those things and, and illustrated them. So today I'm going to do a similar thing, but I'm just going to use this one stick. It has so much detail on it, I'm pretty sure I can get at least six faces out of it. So the goal for this video is to get six different drawings out of different angles and things with this one stick. So I've taken several pictures from different angles of this here stick, and I'm going to jump right in and start drawing right on top of them and see what comes out of it. I might look at this stick a little bit differently afterwards. So the first thing I need to do is import all of these images into Photoshop, kind of organize them a little bit into layers and a folder and group them. And now I'm ready to do the first drawing. Let's see, Mr. Stick, what you gonna be? Originally I had this guy's mouth down lower and kind of had this little bump on the front of his nose, but I decided to change it and move it up so that bump that was going to be his nose is now his chin and his mouth is just this line that's right underneath his eyeball. It's kind of a strong line there and I thought it would look better, make him look more like a amphibian or reptile type character instead of a more humanoid alien-ish looking guy. And I thought it worked better for this one, but the thing is with these drawings you could go either way and it's okay and they're both going to be unique characters, so it's fun. I just love doing these things. For colors, I stuck with the lighter green to kind of go with the amphibian look of the character and I ended up giving him some little tiger stripes on his eyebrow there and a couple other spots and kind of make him look like he's a little bit more unique, like his skin has some patterns in it, almost like a tiger. He's a tiger gecko man. And that's a wrap. One face done, five to go. Hey, what you looking at? Get out of here. Get out of here. For some odd reason, the first part of this one got a little corrupted and I couldn't play the file. So this one I have the sketch already done in the first kind of draft on there. You can see the stick kind of had an obvious big old nose and some lips coming out. Looks like he's whistling or something. Whistling his favorite tune. So this one kind of looks like a, a Mayan prince or king or something, Aztec, I don't know. So I'm just going to go with it and see what comes out. So everything on this guy was from the stick except for the necklace that I kind of threw on there. The headdress kind of came out from the stick. So I thought the necklace would complement the character. This guy's harnessing the eagle powers. He's got this gold eagle emblem on the front of his, his crown. Sorry, I couldn't help but share this clip. I'm a little bit of a Nacho Libre fan. If you've never seen the movie, basically what's going on is he believes if he eats an eagle egg, he will harness eagle powers and it will help him become a better Lucha Libre wrestler. All right, all right, enough of that. Now getting back into the drawing, it's time to lay down some colors. I picked out a color palette from the Adobe color website and I'm just gonna color him up really quick and not spend too much time on him. I kind of left him this awkwardly abnormal orange color, this orangish red, but hey, he's fine. He works, looks pretty good. All right, he's done now. On to the next one. Hopefully they get better and better because I didn't really like this last one too much, but you can't love them all. They're not all going to be a masterpiece or some awesome looking character. You're going to get some weirdos in there too. That's just how the world works. It's full of weirdos too. So this next stick image kind of is giving me uh, a unique little three-quarter angle picture of a face. It's not quite profile, which is good because I get a little too comfortable in the profiles. And this one's kind of looking like a cool goblin-y type character, a little humanoid type dude. So for this one, instead of sticking with the same coloring method, I decided to go a little painterly. I thought it would work better on this guy for whatever reason. And maybe I was just wanting to, to get into the, the painterly style because it's been a little bit, I'm getting a little rusty. Got to keep that up too. So. So this guy is going to be painted. Just throwing in some oranges on top of this dark color to kind of define the values and get them all fleshed out so everything makes sense. I ended up going a little bit off of the stick. I went off the stick! 
It's like going off the rails, but I'm going off the stick. So I went off the stick a little bit on his eyebrow and his this side of his face on that side because it wasn't really making sense. It's a little awkward looking and it still doesn't really make perfect sense afterwards, but whatever. I tried to stay true to the stick as much as I could. Now this guy's looking pretty much completed at this point. Just finalizing it a little bit, a little bit more polished. You could polish these digital paintings forever though and still feel unfinished. So I'm just going to leave them a little rough and move on to the next guy because I still got three more. I think this stick is my spirit animal. Speaking of not making sense, what's that weirdo on about? Okay, well, jumping into this next one, I'm a little excited about it because it already looks like a dragon, and dragons are just fun to draw. So this guy is going to be a dragon. To use all the elements in this stick, I decided to make him kind of a cybernetic techno dragon. So he's got some cyberpunk type enhancements on him, little cannon on his forehead, and he's, he's, cyber, he's cyberpunked out. At this point, I am happy with the lines and I'm going to jump in and color him. I kind of want to make him a blue dragon. I don't know why, but blue dragons are cool, right? Like ice dragons or something. The little laser beam coming out of his forehead. I think this pink complements him nicely. It's like a, a fierce cotton candy dragon. I'm really liking this guy. He might even make the thumbnail. Well, this guy's pretty much done, so on to the last two. Wingardium live your soul. Ronald Weasley. It's Levi's. So coming into this next one, I could do this big cartoony-like face with these little cartoony eyes up here and this big nose and mouth, but that's kind of boring to me. I don't really want to do that. Zooming into just this section right here too, I see a couple more options of faces, but nothing is really calling to me. It's nothing too interesting. It was then that I noticed this little section over here with the different shades of this wood grain, and it looked kind of like a little imp type creature with a little t-rex type jaw mouth and that was really interesting so i kind of drew that out not expecting much to come from it but from there ended up coming the whole character i drew so i just saw this face over here as well that i started sketching out and and i ended up thinking hey i could probably put these two elements together so the imp's riding on this character's back and and i have a weird tarin type bowl man looking character little alien-esque unique individual he turned out pretty cool so right away after this sketch I can see that this guy already has some weird anatomy issues that will make him look like a goof if I draw them all out so I'm gonna fix those even though I'm gonna go off the stick again but hey I think it'll be worth it in the end just to have him look more like a realistic shape I'm not gonna go too crazy but yeah, just fix a few little things like his chest and some of his proportions and stuff now with those things fixed I'm ready to jump in and start doing some lines and draw them out it took me a little bit to figure out how this imp was going to fit on his back, but I figured his body's kind of curled back and his other knee is back behind his other shoulder back there. It looks a little weird, but hey, you don't have much control when you're just going with the grain of the wood and the picture behind it. I think it works out okay. He's got like a flexible body. Maybe he's wrapped around like a frog or something. At this point, I'm happy with how it's turning out, even though his pose is just like super boring. It's just profile staring off into nothing. It doesn't really tell a story other than, you know, the fact that he's carrying an imp on his back. That's a little curious but he's a cool character and I'm having fun with it just doing some more color polish and then this guy is finished and I am down to the last one got to top them all off with something cool got an itch yeah, that's actually a pretty good little face scratcher isn't that funny how you start itching and all of a sudden like 30 other places start itching that didn't itch before why is that man now my whole face itches you shamed me! So jumping into this last drawing, I found a really cool piece of this stick that has a menacing face on it. It's got this big crack across it, it makes kind of a jagged mouth, and I'm excited to get in here and see what comes from this. Only problem is he has this weird little goiter thing on the side and the back here, kind of big lump. So I'm gonna make that kind of where his ear is, and I am gonna add an ear on the other side off of the stick, but hey, it's all good. Could make him symmetrical. I'm gonna zoom in close and add a lot of detail onto this guy and kind of have fun with him and follow the grain in the characteristics of this stick as much as possible just to stay true and pull those details out of it. Give him some beady little red eyes. This guy's a creeper. Fast forwarding through this, I'm enjoying the process. I'm having a lot of fun drawing on him. He's turning out pretty cool. He doesn't really look much like a character though. He just kind of looks like a tree man or something, even though he has ears. He's turning out pretty, pretty unique and he looks like a definite villain. 
throwing on some colors and finishing them up and I am ready to call this guy good and I will showcase all six characters really quick and show them together and wrap things up. So here's the first one, fun little reptilian amphibian type character with green skin and some tiger stripes. The second one, probably my least favorite of all six, little Aztec king. Then the third one we have the pig snouted green goblin character painterly, the cotton candy cyberpunk dragon with the laser beam device on his forehead, a half monkey half bull carrying an imp on his back as he idly stands and stares off into the sunset, and the Henri tree man. He almost looks like he could be made out of rock, a little rock giant or something. I like his nose the best. I think it turned out pretty dope. Thanks so much if you've watched the video all the way to this point. It's been quite a journey exploring all of the faces in this stick. I'd like to institute a little bit of a giveaway at this point. If you can count how many times I say stick in this video and comment it below, if you are correct, I will send you one of these stickers. I'll do this for the first 10 people that get it correct. I will check. Don't just copy others' answers because there's no way of knowing if they are right or wrong. I'll contact the winners. So this is a cool little sticker that if you flip it upside down, it's a different face. So there's like a happy panda or this mean looking snake. I drew this in the upside down faces video. You can check that out if you'd like to see that one. It's pretty crazy to me how much personality this thing has. So I think we got some pretty cool drawings out of this here stick. I'll never look at it the same again. Just looking at it right now, I can see even more faces that I didn't even see in the pictures. Different angles. This here stick, he might come back for another video. This is the perfect stick. <laughs> And you should check out the bad lip syncing video of the perfect stick, the little Yoda song. It's already d gone crazy viral. It's a little parody off of that, kind of gave me the idea to play with this stick here. Thanks so much for watching guys, I really appreciate your time invested in my channel. Hopefully I've inspired some creativity in yourself. My goals are to motivate, collaborate, keep on learning. If that interests you, then subscribe and let's go on an adventure together draw some more faces, do more creative projects. And this has been Hattie the Creator, and I'll catch you on the next video. I bet you I could draw 100 faces from this one stick. Maybe I shall. So if I drew 100 faces and I did six in each video, how many is that? What's 100 divided by six? 100 divided by 5 is 25, 5 times 5 is 25, 20. So probably like 20 videos. No, less. Anyways, we'll see what we do. I ain't making no promises, but this stick is a cool stick. That's all I'm saying. It's got a lot of personality. It's a cool stick. That's all I mean. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's what I mean. I just told you what I mean. So you know. <laughs>